<laughs> hey guys welcome back to the channel it's me tyler nice to meet you if you're new here um if you haven't already subscribe to the channel for many reasons one of those reasons being today is the start of frotober this is like the march madness of frustrated like we are literally packing october with nothing but content good fun hopefully we're all learning something in this whole month but i'm giving you guys literally everything i can think of that is scary that is hard to talk about that is like the ushy gushy oozy woozy stuff and natural hair and i figured why not start this month and this whole thing off with the infamous Aztec, Aztec, Aztec hair clay mask. Um, I have been wanting to do this on camera for a long time now, but I have finally um, came around to it. And I'm gonna do this for you guys um, and give you guys my perspective on it. It is very messy. So if you are wanting to do this, please 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 do a couple of things first of all your hair has to be washed so wash your hair or get your hair really really wet um, so that it can literally revitalize your curl because that's what it's for two wear something either a towel or wear an old shirt or something that you don't mind getting dirty because this gets very very messy um, and three um, make sure that all of your um, products or utensils and all of that don't have any metal in them because it might affect um, the Aztec and whatever chemicals that are involved with this. So I'm going to walk you guys step by step. Um, hopefully you guys see uh, what this Aztec mask is all about. I've done this once before, but I didn't really know what I was doing. So without further ado, I am going to go wet my hair because I mean, obviously it needs to be on wet hair and then we'll come back and get started. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, it took me a little bit because my hair, I'm a low porosity girl. For the low porosity girls, you know what I'm talking about. With hair and water, it takes a little bit, but nonetheless, it doesn't look like it, but my hair is wet slash damp. But while my hair is kind of marinating right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and get in the lab um, and become Dexter. I'm going to be using majority of this um, here. Oh, not majority. I'm not using the whole thing. I'm just saying that's going to be my uh, portions here. <laughs> Aztec clay here. Most people use water. I use apple cider vinegar. I don't have my brags with the mother um, that I would normally use, so we're using this. Get yourself a bowl. Um, and then, of course, um, something to whip it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I am literally eyeballing it, guys. We don't have a ratio here. Um, of course, you want to put more of the mask than anything. <laughs> but um, like I said, uh, if y'all want to put like a whole outfit on or like a, some gloves or something, you're welcome to. Uh, that's another thing. I don't really know how much is too much, but I know I have a lot of hair, so I want to make sure I don't have to re- concoct anything if that's a word um but that's how much ooh, that's how much i have in here oh god um there we go that's just to show y'all what it looks like um if you haven't seen it already let me fix my lighting so y'all can um, see how it turns green it's like real weird but if you're a science person this might be something you can do for well i won't say the kids Nonetheless, I'm adding my. Oh, do y'all hear that? It's like, hold on now. <coughs> okay, y'all know how apple cider vinegar smells. So just, it doesn't have a smell per se, but it ain't the prettiest. But we gon' uh oh. Hold on, y'all. I might have. I think you're supposed to stir this as it. It. Why this looking like dry cereal? Hold on, hold on. Let me um. 
do this. I'm gonna do this and come back, guys. Um, when we get to no, no, you know what? No, I'm not. Y'all gonna see me mess up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Are these suds supposed to be in here? Wait, why is it clinging to the? All right, guys. Um, I'm just gonna keep mixing until it looks like. How it normally looks it's normally this but it's just a bit soupy um i'm just gonna keep adding this oh what and well no wonder why people add water to it i mean okay okay wait but it's sort of looking like okay okay Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. If it's loud, I'm sorry, but y'all, I don't think as much as I put this, as much stuff as I put in here, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Like, all of that I done put in here and it, I barely got a little bit. Child, don't, don't, don't tell me I'm gonna have to put a whole thing in here just for my head now. Now y'all tell me if I'm doing this right or wrong now. I feel like I'm putting too much in here, but at the same time, I don't want to pump myself thinking that this stuff is gonna spread and it only and it only cover one side of my head. But I guess, nonetheless, I have used all hello all of this apple cider vinegar. We got plenty more, but I just don't want to have to use a lot if I know I don't need it. Okay, so we are looking like. Okay guys, so I have managed to put my hair into like three big sections and wear that little buns now and then I clipped the rest of this one section back so I can really get into my scalp and all of that. What I'm gonna do is take okay, take um <laughs> what the clay. <laughs> um I think I'm just gonna do like small piece like that and just kind of go in like so um oh i just something about this just makes it so weird so cool i don't know what it is but um what's crazy is y'all my reflection just scared the crap out of me <laughs> Now I am focusing more on my hair shaft rather than the scalp because um, this is said to revitalize curls and yes, this curls come from the root, but I wanna see if they would be really popping, like my curls would be really popping. So um, guys, I am, y'all know me. I don't, I don't actually comb or finger, I take my finger parts with my fingers because it's just easiest for me and I'm just applying it very liberally so um guys my hair feels like straight up paper like straight up it feels so weird but I think that based off of what I've seen it's supposed to look this way I almost feel like I'm not using enough, but I want to use what I have first and then go back. Anyway, um, guys, I'm going to um, get to the other side and the front, and then I'm going to come back and see how much I have left. Okay, guys, I had to change the lighting a little bit so y'all could see how this is working miracles on my on my on my curls like i can't even talk so i have this i'm probably gonna leave this on for like 10 minutes or so but when i say the feeling of my hair has me cringe almost like i do not have to dehydrate my hair like this so um i am going to go wash this out come back 
give you guys my thoughts on how it came out, how um, my curls may or may not come back. We will find out in just a second. But very lightweight. I don't have any problems in terms of, I didn't even do that bad on mess per se, besides my hands looking like I jumped off my little monument block. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's see how this turns out, guys. I will be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. I just washed out the Aztec clay, and I'm going to give you guys my pros and cons. Um, for one, of course, the pro being that my hair, for the first time in a long time, is completely clean and I mean clean of all of the Aztec clay that I put in it the first time first go round no product like I normally scratch to make sure I scratch my scalp to make sure I don't have any product that's my light little um, tip I always sc scratch my scalp to make sure if there's any product still on my scalp that I go to wash it out guys I don't have anything in my nails normally I'm like dang I got conditioner let me go wash that out real quick well I don't see any of that and I stayed under my sink um about the same time as I normally do when I wash my hair out but I y'all my hair is clean and that's usually not the case when I use products I usually miss a spot or like I usually run my hands through it to make sure and I'm like dang I forgot this and let me go wash it out but this is not the case, which is a good thing for me because I can move right along with my process. Um, now, I also like the fact that my hair is still wet. And I know that's probably weird, but with low porosity hair, um, I tend to have to re-wet my hair before I go to style it. And I literally just came from washing my hair. I'm sitting down, my hair is still like dripping wet in the back. Normally, I give my hair around six or seven minutes and my roots are completely or almost dry or damp and then my ends are like semi damp but my hair is still like pretty soaked which is not normal for me so I am happy because if I wanted to go ahead and style my hair while it's still wet I don't have to add additional water so I don't know if that's something that you guys um, find beneficial or not but for me in the low porosity crew i think you might find that this mask helps with keeping the hydration and the actual water in your hair at least long enough for you to style it now the purpose of me doing this mask is to to bring back my curls and um i see them but i thought i was going to see them like i of course, y'all, the back of my hair always delivers when it comes to curls. So the back of my hair is not really what I'm concerned with. It's the front of my head that I thought I was going to have like some, you know, Pacific Ocean waves. But we not really given what I thought we were going to give. And I'm not mad at that, but um, I am a little like, okay, well, I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> I just wanted a little bit more curls. Now, keep in mind, my hair does its own thing. There's a very good chance because um, my waves didn't turn out like I want them to. I did my sections a little bit bigger than normal, so that might have been the reason. But um, curl-wise, I was expecting a little bit more definition in my curls, if that makes sense. And I ain't really getting that. And there's nothing against the mask. Like I said, I did bigger sections, so that might be the reason. Um, or my hair just not, it just may not be that texture where you're just gonna get these really, really deep waves unless you actually make them. So I'm not gonna blame it solely on the mask, but I will say um, my hair is super clean. It feels so good. And it feels like a, a huge weight has been lifted off of me. I don't know if it's the product or whatever this mask did cleaned out whatever that was left that I missed maybe during wash day but my hair feels very light um and it feels very clean like my scalp feels clean so I'm very very happy about that we have more pros than cons for sure but nonetheless um all in all I would probably do this um 
one or two more times. I really like the shine of my hair as well. So if you ladies are looking for, excuse me, a few people, ladies and gentlemen, are looking for a little bit of shine or looking to add a little bit more looks to your hair, this is definitely gonna give you that. And um, I haven't adjusted the lighting, so this is like natural ring light lighting, if that makes sense. But guys, I we thumbs up this mask. You guys, you can probably find this in um, Walmart now. Back in the day, you had to go on Amazon or like really search for this stuff. But now it's like in your local beauty supply store, in your Walmart, Amazon, of course, eBay. Um, I bought this, this month. I must have been real, real anxious to buy this because baby, $8. It's probably less than that now, depending on the size, but nonetheless, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, actually hit the bell because this, the, the notification bell, yeah, go ahead and hit that because this month I am hitting you left and right with videos, okay? I hope you enjoyed. Y'all be safe. Happy Frotober. See you next video.